I've spoken to Julian today. He's in good spirits. He's very grateful for the support shown to him by the people of Ecuador and so many others from around the world. Yesterday, Mr. Assange was served with a letter from the Metropolitan Police Service requesting that he surrender himself to Belgravia Police Station at 11.30 this morning. Mr. Assange has been advised that he should decline to comply with the police request. This should not be considered any sign of disrespect. Under both international and domestic UK law, asylum assessments take priority over extradition claims. The issues faced by Mr. Assange are serious. His life and liberty and the life and liberty of his organization and those associated with it are at stake. The United States government has instigated a grand jury against Julian Assange and other founders or managers of WikiLeaks. It is only a matter of time before U.S. authorities begin extradition proceedings against Julian and other leading members of WikiLeaks on various charges, including conspiracy to commit espionage. It should be made clear what would happen if Julian was extradited to the United States. The United Nations Special Rapporteur for Torture, Juan Mendez, has formally found that the United States has subjected Julian Assange's alleged source in this matter, the young soldier Bradley Manning, to conditions amounting to torture. The UN found that the United States subjected Bradley Manning to cruel, inhuman, and degrading, degrading treatment. Mr. Manning has been charged by the U.S. government with the capital offense of aiding the enemy in relation to his alleged interaction with Mr. Assange. Bradley Manning has been detained without trial for two years and was placed in solitary confinement for nine months in his cell for 23 hours a day, stripped naked and woken every five minutes. His lawyer and support team say these harsh measures were to coerce him into implicating Julian Assange. So it is clear that there is a legal process in place which will result in taking Julian to the U.S., which, if allowed to succeed, would violate his basic rights. It is accepted by the U.K. Supreme Court that Julian Assange has not been charged with any criminal offense in Sweden. It is also accepted that he was told by Swedish authorities that he was free to leave Sweden. And it is also accepted that he has continuously offered to be interviewed by the Swedish authorities here in the UK should they wish to do so. Although it is normal procedure, Swedish authorities have refused without reason to make the three-hour trip to London and to interview Julian, causing him to be trapped into the, in the UK under virtual house arrest for 561 days and an additional 10 days in solitary confinement. All without charge.